I had a lot of bad jobs growing up, like the worst job I've ever had. Uh, I seen one here too, when I was walking around. I seen, uh, I used to work at this company called Renner Center. You guys familiar with Renner Center? Right. Oh yeah, I knew I recognized some of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> People that don't know what rent center is, a rent to own furniture place. And the reason I hated working there was because I was the repo man. And I really hated repoing people's furniture. You know, because people get attached to TVs and to couches. You know. Was... And I had this one customer, man. She was so ghetto. You know, she wouldn't pay her bill, she wouldn't answer her phone. Sometimes I would be banging on her door, peeping through her window, watch her watch our TV, ignore me. Right? And, uh... <laughs> And my boss got really frustrated. He said, Rob, you're the repo man. I need you to collect on this account or I'm gonna have to let you go. And I needed my job at the time, so I came up with this plan. I'm like, I'm gonna leave an unprofessional voicemail. That's the only way I can get in touch with her. I'm gonna leave an unprofessional voicemail that she, so that she gets upset enough to come into the store and yell at me, then we can have dialogue about this account. <laughs> so I call her house, guys. I'm unprofessional. I'm on her voicemail talking about, yeah, fatty. Uh, I'm coming to get this furniture one way or another. So you can do this the hard way, we can do this the easy way. But I'm on my way. Slam the phone down, I jump in the rental center truck, and I'm a big dude, but I'm a teddy bear. I do not like drama. But I know she's gonna be mad and upset and hyped up, so I'm trying to hype myself up. You know, I'm in this big rental center box truck, I'm speeding, I'm blasting music, I'm playing songs like, she better have my money. Like I'm like... <laughs> I'm driving over there and I'm so amped up that I'm not even realizing that her husband had just got home from prison. Uh, I know, not funny. Uh, I get over there, he's a straight monster. He has muscles on top of muscles. He sees the rent center truck coming down the street, takes his shirt off, tattoos everywhere. <laughs> he walks up to the truck, me and my partner's in there. He's like, where's Rob at? Where's Rob? Which one of you are Rob? You better start planning your funeral now. And I, was, I didn't want to get him more upset, but I'm thinking in my head, like, this is not enough time to plan a funeral. You know what I'm <laughs> But I'm so scared. I'm in a rental center truck slowly sliding my name tag off my shirt. I, I ain't want no problems with this dude. I called my boss back at the store. I was like, hey, man, this dude's over here being super disrespectful. I don't know what you want me to do, but he's not budging. He's not going to give this furniture back. My boss says, I want you to be a man, do your job, and do not come back without our merchandise. Hung up in my face. I looked at the customer, I tried to remain professional. It's like, hey man, I'm sorry, I don't know who left that voicemail. But I can't leave without this furniture. And you ever looked at somebody's face, you could tell they're a bad person, they did some bad stuff in their life. He looked at me right in my face, like the only way you're getting this furniture back is if you kill me, if I kill you. Again, that was a silly question. I'm like, you kill me, I can't take the furniture back to the house. <laughs> <laughs> but make a long story short, I ended up taking the furniture back to the office. My boss was super impressed. He's like, Rob, good job. Don't ever put yourself in harm's way like that again. I was like, cool, boss. I appreciate that, you know. But uh, this is the furniture from my house. I wasn't about to. <laughs> Y'all laughing, but I got employed a month that month. That was a good. <laughs>